so this lecture is about the cylindrical reduction and the spherical equivalent both of the procedure both of these procedures are for the same purpose right so in this video we are going to learn about the cylindrical reduction what does it mean when when i say when we say cylindrical reduction and what does it mean when we say the spherical equivalent what are the similarities between do, these two procedures what are the differences between these two procedures in cylindrical reduction and the spherical equivalent we have discussed in our previous videos regarding the detail of the spherical equivalent but in this video we are going to compare between these two procedures the cylindrical reduction and the spherical equivalent so first of all we will discuss we will learn that what are the advantages that how and why i prefer why i perform the cylindrical reduction in my prescriptions right or why should i go for the spherical equivalent in my prescription in the prescription of my patient right so first of all we will discuss about the cylindrical reduction and then we will compare this procedure with the spherical equivalent so first first of all let's uh, learn about that why we need cylindrical reduction and why we need the spherical equivalent both of these procedures are indicated in the patients with the high cylinder right for example if a, if a person of if a patient have minus 3 spherical with minus you can say uh, 7 cylinder at uh, 80 axis for example this is the prescription of a patient with minus 3 spherical this minus 3 is spherical this minus 7 is cylinder and these are as you know axis so i prescribed this prescription to my patient but that patient is not comfortable with the same prescription because our cylinder is very high so we have to reduce the cylinder to make our patient to make our uh, client comfortable so how we can reduce that cylinder should i reduce in a typical way like this is minus seven so i sh should pre uh, prefer him or i prescribe him i must prescribe him uh, minus six or minus five or minus four can i reduce the cylinder on my personal will no there's a procedure and that is called the cylindrical reduction right and what is the procedure the procedure is we are talking about the cylinder right so in cylinder we have so now let's discuss about that what is new in the cylindrical reduction right so in this cylinder in the cylindrical reduction this is your choice as a clinician as an optometrist this is your choice that how much cylinder you want to reduce from the prescription this is your choice for example you want to reduce minus 2 from the minus 7 right so so the total cylinder is minus 7 and from minus 7 i want to prescribe minus 5 right so it means i want to reduce to minus 2 cylinder from the whole cylindrical power right so our reduced cylinder is minus 2 right so this is our reduced cylinder and if i reduced minus 2 from minus 7 what will be the remaining value obviously it would be minus 5 the green marker will be unable to see for you so this is minus 5 which is the remaining cylinder and axes are the same 80 axis so right now our spherical is minus 3 now we split the cylinder into two parts one is the value of the cylinder which i want to reduce and that is minus 2 right and the remaining is minus 5 we have split minus 7 which is the whole cylinder into two pieces right into two parts one is the cylinder which i want to reduce and the next value is the cylinder which i want to prescribe right so next is the axis now the next step is you have to make half of the cylinder and which one the cylinder this is the point where a student where a typical student makes mistake right so what is that the cylinder which you want to reduce you have to make half of it so the value is minus 2 and that minus 2 cylinder 
is that cylinder which you want to reduce from the whole value and you will take half of it so we will take half of it it's minus 2 right so if we make half of it the remaining value would be 1 the half of the 2 is 1 so re the reduced cylinder is minus 1 right so simply we have to add this reduced cylinder into the spherical correction of the whole prescription so we will add minus 1 into minus 3 algebraically so let's write it down minus 3 and minus 1 right so minus and minus you know very well plus so the spherical the new spherical will be minus 4 right and now the next cylinder was minus 5 so we will write as such minus 5 cylinder at the axis will be the same so minus 4 our new spherical minus 5 is our the cylinder which I want to prescribe minus 5 cylinder and axis are the same so this is the cylindrical reduction and you will you will perform this procedure when your patient is not comfortable in the high cylinder prescription now let's take another example of cylindrical reduction and then we will go for spherical equivalent so our spherical is plus 2 and cylinder is minus 4 and axes are 90 degree this is our the whole prescription with spherical cylinder and axis right so our patient for example suppose our patient is not comfortable with the high cylinder which is minus 4 so we have to apply the cylindrical reduction procedure on this prescription right so simply this is spherical plus 2 the step number one you have to decide this is your choice that uh, which value of the cylinder you want to prescribe right how much you want to reduce your cylinder right so this is minus 4 suppose for example i want to reduce minus 2 right so if i want to reduce minus 2 this minus 2 cylinder so i we have to split this minus 4 into two parts one is which you want to reduce so i want to reduce minus 2 and the next one is which i want to prescribe and that is minus 2 as well and x is at the same 90 degree so now you have to the next step is we will take half of the cylinder which i want to reduce not which i want to prescribe the prescribe the cylinder which i want to prescribe would be the same i'm not going to change i'm not going to alter that cylinder which i want to prescribe i want to change i want to alter that cylinder which i want to reduce and that is minus 2 so i'll take half of it so what is the half of the minus 2 it is minus 1 so this is the cylinder the half of the half of the cylinder which i want to reduce and the remaining cylinder is minus 2 which is the same and axis are 90 degree so now i had take half of the cylinder which i want to reduce and now i will add algebraically into the cylinder into the sphericals right so plus and minus our spherical has plus value and our cylinder has minus value so plus and minus minus so plus 2 cylinder is minus 1 here and plus and minus minus right so we will subtract 1 from 2 and the answer will be plus 1 so plus 1 is our new spherical correction and what is the remaining cylinder that was minus 2 and axes are the same same we are not going to change the axis so this is our new prescription with the different cylinder with the reduced cylinder right so this is the cylindrical reduction and now let's compare this cylindrical reduction in with the spherical equivalent now let's learn about the spherical equivalent and compare this spherical equivalent with the cylindrical reduction so in cylindrical reduction as i told you that this is your choice that how much cylinder you want to reduce 
but in the cylindrical in spherical equivalent you are not going to choose and how minus 2 is our spherical minus 6 is our cylinder and x is our 90 degree so this is the total cylinder is minus 6 right so at the same point we have to take half of it and what is the half of the minus 6 you know very well that half of the 6 is 3 so minus 3 is half of the cylinder and now simply we have to add this half of the cylinder we will add half of the cylinder into the spherical correction again let me repeat our total prescription was minus 2 spherical with minus 6 cylinder at 90 degree right so in spherical equivalent we will simply take half of the total cylinder our total cylinder is minus 6 we take half of it and what is half of the total cylinder our total cylinder was minus 6 and half of it is minus 3 right so we will take we will add half of the cylinder in the spherical correction we will simply add half of the total cylinder into the spherical correction of the prescription so but remember this is the this is actually the point where a student makes a mistake like we are going to add this half of the cylinder into the spherical correction and we will move with the same sign for example the cylinder has minus so we'll go minus 3 will go with the same sign with a minus sign right so minus 2 with minus 3 so minus and minus it's plus right so minus and minus is plus then 3 and 2 will be minus 5 so minus 5 is our new spherical right and cylinder we will not prescribe cylinder in the spherical equivalent so these are the two procedures the cylindrical reduction and spherical equivalent we have compared both of these procedures and both of these procedures are prevent the patient from the high cylinder the effects or you can say the uh, symptomatic high cylinder prescription right so we have discussed about the cylindrical reduction their indications their similarities and their differences.